Hey there guys, what's up? Your mother, that's what's up. Anyways, welcome back to Pokemon Ruby. I like what's hip happening and trendy. Have you heard of this new your mother? <laughs> Still funny. Your mother is the biggest happening. Did you just call my mother big? I'm gonna sock you in the face so hard at when I get back, asshole. Anyway, fisherman up there. Do I wanna? Yeah, pretty sure he has another tentacle, so I'm just gonna take him out with a super effective confusion, courtesy of Dust Hawks. So let's go. Why the hell you keep a Pokeball at the end of a fishing rod? I don't think a Pokeball would make a very good lure, considering. Pokemon don't really want to get in the Pokeballs, I think. I mean, if they wanted to get in there, you probably wouldn't have to beat them up so badly and then downright force them in there, now would you? Anyway, why does Magikarp give such crappy experience? I mean, sure, free experience, but still, why so little? And a really weak Tanacool. Critical hit. Don't know if that mattered or not. Because Tentacruel does have pretty decent special defense. That's like one of Tentacruel's best selling points. But Dustox was 5 levels lower and a super effective move. But then we get another critical on Magikarp, take it out nice and sweet, and Dustox level 14. Taylor needs some catching up to do. Oh well, in the next cave there'll be some Pokemon for Taylor to beat, I guess. Let's just put him up front. Yes, I know Taylor is a girl, but I'm gonna refer to all of my Pokemon as male regardless of their gender, because that's what most people do. Hey, you, it's awfully dark ahead. Oh, Steven is in here, he came by. Alright, and the hiker gives you HM5. Which is Flash. No, not the... You know, show people your ass while you're riding in the back of a car kind of Flash. No, light up a cave with a bright flash of light flash. But quite honestly, you can get through this cave just fine without using flash. So I'm not gonna waste a move slot on Dustock just to teach it flash. Especially because you can't make him forget HMs without going seeing the move deleter. I mean, sure, he's in Slateport, but still. Don't wanna use flash. So yeah, without flash, all you're gonna see is this. No, you can still find the stairs just fine this way. Especially if you played this game just as much as I did. I know this game like the back of my hand, pretty much. Anyway, everyone's favorite cave dweller, Zubat, is always back here to lurk in caves for you to appear and annoy the crap out of you. I mean, thank goodness Zubat is not in Pokemon Black and White. Instead, they replaced him with Woobat, who's pretty much the same damn thing even sounds the same, but I don't think Woobat is in that many caves compared to uh, Zubat. Ooh, a Makuhita! Yes, it looks like a fat Asian kid, but it's actually a fighting Pokemon. And chances are it's the first fighting Pokemon you're gonna get your hands on. Although you might have like started out with Torchic and if it evolved into Combusken by now you'll already have a fighting type. But I am going to get this Makuhita. Makuhita will be my fourth team member. Because Makuhita is simply a game breaker at this point in the game. I cannot believe they give you so great of a Pokemon at that early of a stage. Because, well, to kind of keep it simple, Makuhita is a beast. He's so incredibly strong. And he evolves surprisingly early. I remember just leveling up my Makuhita. My, like, Makuhita was in my team when I first played this game as a kid. And I was like, okay, probably I'm now going to evolve at around like level 30 or something. And it's gentle. And has some pretty decent moves. Arm thrust could be stronger, but hell, it works. Although I do need to kind of heal it because it's kind of banged up. So, potion... And I think I might like have an Oran Berry somewhere to... Ah, screw it. We'll go with it. But yeah, Makuhita evolves at level 24. That's... Really not that much training, considered. 
Anyway, uh, here's a little Zubat again. Although Makuhita can't really do anything to those. But I don't think Zubat can do much in return, because it pretty much only knows Leech Life, Astonish, and Supersonic at this point. And I think... Yeah, it, Makuhita resists Leech Life, Astonish isn't going to do crap because it's a weak move. And Supersonic can be annoying. But that's pretty much all there is to it. Also, this cave, the Granite Cave, is the location of one of the rarest Pokémon in the game. However, I have no way of catching that Pokémon as of yet, because you need another HM move which you'll get in a little while. You need the HM move Rock Smash to smash rocks. Because I'm sure you've s you might have seen some of them by now. Like these brown rocks that kind of stand out like a sore thumb. You can use Rock Smash on those, and chances are a wild Pokémon will pop out. Now, like, 99% of the times it's a freaking Geodude, but in this cave, in this cave alone, in like, some rocks in some kind of back room, you have the chance to find a Nose Pass. Yes, the Pokémon Roxanne used against you in the gym battle. That's the only place you're gonna find a Nose Pass. And it's really rare, it's kind of annoying to get there, and... yeah. I don't really think, like, any other trainer in the game has a Nose Pass, so... When I first played through this game as a kid, I was like, how the hell am I gonna get a Nose Pass? I can't find them anywhere in the... Like, in the Pokedex, you can see, like, the area where Pokémon can be found. But Nose Pass's area just says the Granite Cave, so I went there, wandered around for ages, never found a Nose Pass. I only learned how to catch a Nose Pass once I learned what the hell the internet was. And even then, I sti it still took me many months before I mustered up the will to... Oh, look, a Mawile! Now, Mawile is a kind of unusual Pokémon. You would not really guess that Mawile is actually a Steel-type from looking at it. And it has the annoying ability Intimidate, which lowers your attack stat. That can be annoying. And it is deceptively strong, even if it's using weak-ass moves like Astonish. And it's pretty bulky, actually. Because compared to all the unevolved Pokémon you're probably using at this point in the game, Mawile actually has decent stats. If you stack it up to fully evolved Pokémon, Mawile is a piece of shit, of course, but against unevolved Pokémon, it's more than a match. And it's one of the first version-exclusive Pokémon you'll run into. Mawile is exclusive to Pokémon Ruby, whereas its counterpart, Sableye, is exclusive to Pokémon Sapphire. And quite frankly, in-game, none of them... like, neither is really particularly useful. But, Sableye has the added advantage of making Sapphire players' lives that much easier against the upcoming gym leader. Let's just give it away right now, the next gym leader uses fighting types. And... Pretty sure you all know the basic Pokémon type matchups. Sableye is a Ghost and Dark type. Ghost types are immune to normal and fighting attacks. And guess what types of moves are the only types of moves that the Pokémon in the next gym know? Only normal and fighting moves. Although there are some Pokémon that also like know some psychic moves, but you know, thanks to Sableye's Dark type, he's also conveniently immune to those. So you can pretty much just capture a Sableye here in Sapphire, that is. Just, you don't even need to train it or anything, just go to the gym and proceed to open up a can of whoop-ass because none of the Pokémon there can hurt you. Yeah, talking all about a game-breaker. Sadly, people who have Ruby don't get such an advantage and will most likely have to resort to, uh, Talo or Dustox or Beautifly or Wingull. Or maybe even Zubat, anything that's probably carrying a Psychic or Flying move. Anyway, here's Steven. Yes, that's a Pokénav, Steven. Real piece of work. He's interested in rare stones. Oh, a letter for me? Yes. Here you go. Now give me my tip. I'm no freaking mailman. Yes. Oh, okay, he'll give you a TM. of Steel Wing. Not really a particularly useful move. But I guess I can learn it to Talo. For type coverage. 
Because Taylor only has normal and flying move now, and it's pretty useless against rock types. And Steel Wing, logically, is a steel type move, which is super effective against rock types. But still, why should I be using Taylor against rock types when I have a freaking Mudkip? Anyway, what do I get rid of? We'll get rid of Growl. I mean, Growl and Focus Energy are both pretty useless, but... Maybe Focus Energy has a point in if I'm going to use Taylor in contests or something. Anyway, uh, Makuhita. Go away, I don't need you. I already have one which is stronger and might be able to kick your ass. Come on, Makuhita. Oh, critical hit. Very nice. Uh, only two times. Come on, you can do better than that. Well, at least he misses. Maybe if you opened your eyes for once, Makuhita, you might actually be able to hit something. Kinda reminds me of Brock, always keeping his eyes closed like that. Yeah. And I don't know why, but the thingy on top of Makuhita's head reminds me of like when you tie a knot in a full trash bag to prevent the trash from spilling out. Kinda reminds me of that. Probably because I tend to work with a lot of trash bags at work, because I'm the only one who ever wants to... Well, don't want to. I'm the one who usually ends up having to throw the trash bags into the container. And your mother, still funny. <laughs> oh boy, we're gonna be coming back here to check on the your mother guy a lot. It's kind of a recurring joke in this LP. Anyway, let's heal up my Pokemons. Because pretty much all there's left for me to do now is to go and challenge the gym. And fun fact, the second gym is actually completely skippable. I mean, you don't need to fight it now, you can just go back to Mr. Briny and take the boat to Slateport and carry on from there and go straight to the third gym. But, or not really but, but because the HM that you can use after beating this gym is Flash, which you don't really need to beat the game, you can just cross all caves without using Flash. So, I could go ahead and just go to the third gym now, but we're gonna do this in order. So in the next part, we will go and fight the gym. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.